my Sonic is here, Sega Girl here, and uh, Wolfie! Say hi, Wolf! This is part two of my first gaming uh, trade and buy event, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Does it say 89? Call of Kalagoglyph. Yeah, my friend Victor is here. He invited me, so he's showing me some games. So, so like you know, like like I'm on the fence right That's now. Really That's really dark. Scary dark. Yeah, this is like this is like uh, Cold Mountain. Right? Oh yeah, that you sold to me. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a mature game. Too. Yeah, it's, the same, it's the same thing, yeah. Because it's that game's really violent. Yeah, sweetie. Do you have a dollar? I can buy. In Victory, you get the Call of Kalalala on Xbox One, or of course the original Xbox, which is amazing. And I don't know where they got the price, ninety nine ninety nine, because sixty eight ninety nine is better. And I also saw another one for sixty eight or best offer locally. Next, we got Song of the Deep for the PS4, also available on Xbox One. I do want this game. This game is a side-scrolling submarine game where she's looking for her father that got lost at sea. Here is another submarine game that I want, The Aquatic Adventures, and you can pick that up at Video Game Plus. Link is below on my messages.
Thank you.
<laughs> they could go lower. This table's easy. You just look. Yeah, I should have came here first. It's so easy. Monster Madness. What is this? Oh, it's a racing. Wow, this is huge. It's a Neo Geo cartridge. This is a Neo Geo cartridge? Wow, it's so big. I've never seen one. It's amazing. I got that console. It's fun. It's beautiful. Uh, Dreamcast, right? This is uh, it only plays in North America, it doesn't play Japanese, though. No? I don't think so. Yeah, it, all it is is a boot disc if, if you need to play imports. But most of the Japanese stuff. There's no point uh, getting it because you can't read it. Okay. It's, 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 only it's racing right. or fighting. That's the only thing yeah. you can get. I saw those. So I'm leaving the game trading event. It was a lot of fun. I did wish I had more time. When I got here, I only had like an hour and 20 minutes. So I will show you what, what I picked up. Um, the lady was so nice, the Zelda lady. Thank you, thank you so much. XOX to you, you're so sweet. I appreciate her because like, I had a budget of only 50. I came to 50 to a trading game, a gaming event. <laughs> that was my limit, 50, and trading. But the trading could be kind of difficult. I'm surprised no one wanted to trade for Beautiful Joe 2 for the GameCube. That's a really good game. I mean, there was one guy that would pay 35, and I was like, <laughs> you know, like, it's like 60. So <laughs> I didn't trade. So I'll probably post that up and sell it on Facebook Market, and someone could pay, you know, 60 for it or 70. Who knows? So let's see what I picked up, guys. The car is really dirty because I have a Husky. So the Xbox 360 is in here. And uh, there's hair everywhere. I have a Husky and <laughs> we haven't vacuumed for months. So the 360, no one wanted to trade. I mean, there was one guy that wanted to trade the Xbox 360 for a boxed PS2 game console. But our 360 had a little damage, so he didn't trade anything. And then in here, let's see what's in here. Oh, these are the PC games that no one wanted. Why does no one want these PC games? I thought everyone was into PC gaming. Well, why does anyone want to trade for PC games? I thought you all play PC games. <laughs> and then no one wanted the Japanese PS1. I got this for my little son. I had to pick something up for him. So this was five bucks. You know, they had a lot of little figures. If I had some more money, I would pick up the little figures. They had the He-Man, the Shearers, tons of them. And uh, yeah, you guys saw in the video. So this is what I picked up. This is from He-Man, the bad guy. So I got that for my little son. So when I go home, I'll surprise him with it. And then my nephew picked this up. He paid 40. Like the guy wanted 50 or 55. He bought that for his little brother, 40. I think it's expensive, but as you know, Lego is expensive. And if you go to Legoland in America, their things are even more expensive. <laughs> My friend uh, went to Legoland these last few days, uh, uh, Switch Underground. He went with his family, so he enjoyed that. Oh, and there's some Pokemon stuff here. I didn't even know these kids picked this up. So they picked up some Pokemon. I didn't know. So I put that back in there. And then let's see what I got here. So, so let's start with this. So this was a Facebook market pickup. I met the guy here. This was 30. He was selling it for 40. It's the Battle Princess Madeline. I believe this was this a lim yeah, this is a limited run game. Do you have what it takes? Yes, I do. I have the power to make my channel grow big. Sega girl. <laughs> so, um I got Battle Princess Madeline, so I'm really excited about that. It has even a little card. So it's my first like little card. Uh game with like a little card. So I met the guy and picked that up here. And then I'm surprised. No one wanted to trade for this game. It's in great condition. <sighs> Beautiful Joe. And then I picked up Spider-Man for my son. So he wanted 35 for this game. He was selling at 40. And I wanted to pay 30. So I traded that Unravel Xbox One. I think I paid 20 or 20. 
I think I paid 20 but he wanted 15 He said he would buy it for $15. So I only paid 20 for this Mile Morales for the PS4. And then, oh, my son picked this up. I wonder how much he paid for this. Oh, $15. Okay, so he paid 15 for that. And then no one wanted to trade for that. <laughs> anything. And no one wanted to trade anything for this Sega Genesis. And then I ended up getting the two Zeldas sealed. I finally got them. I paid 50 for these two. I'm so happy. And the lady was so nice. I just wanted to hug her. So I finally got the two Zeldas and they're sealed. And I'll just keep them sealed until I'm ready to play them. So there they are. They're going with the little Zelda collection for the 3DS. So yeah, I got lots of great stuff and I'm just so happy I got this for my, for my small son. So we are done. Yes. We are done the Game Expo game trading event and I had so much fun. Thanks to my friend Victor for inviting me. He was so sweet and knowledgeable on all the games. Thank you so much. And I hope Yay. to see you again in another expo. Let me know if there's any other expos coming up. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, guys. What is that? I got for free present. Oh, it's so nice. A little Mario car. Oh my lord. Super Mario. Oh, I don't want to drive like that today. So, yeah, a little Super oh, Mario why car. You, why, doesn't, um, you, why don't you go drive and then can take over your. Don't forget, your guys, car. to subscribe because I have lots of great ideas on upcoming videos. And click that like button. It helps me a lot. And I hope you enjoyed looking at all the games like I did. What was your favorite section? Comment below. My favorite section was the Sega Genesis section. Oh, but Lumo. Lumo for the PS Vita is a great game. I actually ordered that game for the PS4. Or was it for the Vita? I don't know. Not that I can't remember. So we are done. Yeah, we are done the gaming trade gaming expo. We are done the gaming expo. And thank you to my friend Victor for inviting me to this beautiful event. I actually loved it so much. I loved how, I loved how it wasn't crowded. It, it, the kids were running around playing and I was looking at the games. I just wish I had more time. I got here and only had an hour and 20 minutes. And uh, thank you. Let me know of any other events in the area. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I am so grateful to the people that have subscribed to my channel. Sega Girl Adventures at the Expo. I thank you so much. And yeah, I, w I wish I was rich. <laughs> I would buy so much more games. Like I loved, I loved all the games. I couldn't complain about nothing. Okay, maybe the prices on some of the games. But those are rare games now. And uh Hopefully one day uh, some of the games will come down a little bit low. As for me as a buyer, I'm always looking for sales. And I did find some great sales. Those Zelda games, I thought I, I got a great deal on them. That was one of my finds of the day that I, I was very truly happy. And then I had those extra $5 to buy that little toy for my little son. So my little son's going to be happy with his little toy. So thank you guys. Subscribe. Thank you guys. Subscribe. Thank you guys. And I'll see you all in the next adventure. I got to drive home. Found in the garbage, one of those big Calyx shelves. I'm gonna clean it up. We're gonna get you first. Wow. And uh, we have still ten dollars. We're gonna use for smoothies at McDonald's, yogurt free, uh, all because of the, the Zelda lady at, at the game event. So thankful that I saved like literally 10, 15 bucks. That's great. So yeah, new shelf for the game area. Or where should we put that? Treats, French fries, and smoothies. Hi, you two days. Did you miss mommy? Cause I missed you so much. Go wacky, wacky, wacky. Where's Wolfie? Oh, yeah. Hey, Wolf, let's go. You miss mommy. You did? We're gonna go wacky, wacky. At least it was hot, so mommy went to the game, the game show, right? I'm gonna go wacky, wacky with mom, my beautiful boy. Okay. Let's go up, let's go in the car. Papa, you go, Papa? Do you wanna go, Papa? Come on. <laughs>